One of the things that we're up against when we're talking about prayer is that uh, it's a cultural thing. Um, we in the West, in particular in America, we tend to be very pragmatic. We, we like to see how things work. We have confidence when we can connect the dots between cause and effect. It's a lot easier for us to be involved in an exercise program, for example, when you can see the difference it makes. When, when the pounds are coming off and the waist is getting a little trimmer and you're feeling a little bit better, uh, well, we you can stay motivated. But if uh, you engage in an exercise program and you don't see that it's making any difference, and it seems like the older you get, the more that is the case, uh, it, well, just, you know it is doing you good, you know it, it, it's, it's, you need it, but it's harder to stay invested because you can't see it. We like to be able to see a cause and effect relationship between things. And when we don't see that, it can feel to us like we're wasting our time. And I, for one, hate to waste time. So I've been praying more or less for 39 years since I became a follower of Jesus back in 1974. And yet I still, I've had kind of a, a commitment over the last 10 years or so to spend the first 20 to 30 minutes of every day in prayer. Uh, just laying there before God and, and just offering up to him whatever comes to mind, whatever, uh, however the spirit leads. Sometimes I'm just laying in his presence. And there are, are moments where that's a wonderful experience. I mean, just sometimes it shows up in incredible ways. But not always, and I can't even say that that's the norm. There are other times where I'm laying there and there's a part of my brain that's thinking, Greg, you're at your best when you first get out of bed. Your mind is sharpest. You, uh, you know, you're most productive. You could be writing right now. You could be reading right now, studying, doing something that would really be of consequence. Instead, you're talking to the ceiling. Do you ever feel like you're talking to the ceiling or the wall when you're praying? And, and you, you'll keep on doing it out of commitment, but man, it's hard. It feels like a waste of time. It doesn't fit into our pragmatism. Our, 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 our desire to see a cause and effect relationship. Prayer, usually, I mean, sometimes you pray and, and there'll be an immediate outstanding result. But more often than not, I found that you can't connect the dots between your time spent in prayer and the outcome. And when there is an apparent outcome, usually I mean, even that can be explained another way. Andrea gave this testimony a little bit ago. Uh, and, and this appointment was set out several months down in the fall. And so she's in the shower, she's praying, and she gets out of the shower, and boom, the phone rings, and, and they, she got bumped up, you know, and, and, and she could see the doctor real soon. And we all go, but praise God, yay. But even she said, it could have been just a coincidence. There's always other ways of explaining things. You know, did God really uh, have a person cancel just so Andrea could get in there? Or, you know, how did God influence? We, we don't know how God influenced that. And there's always a lot of variables that go on, and things could always go a different way. So, so even when we see the outcome of prayer, it takes faith to affirm it. It takes faith to pray, and it takes faith to affirm the answer to prayer. And that doesn't fit into our pragmatism, so prayer can feel like a waste of time. Especially, as Andrea has, when you pray over and over again, with passion, and you don't see the outcome that you're praying for. 